Okay guys, so the next deck I'm going to show you is the Tarot of the Holy Grail. And this deck is by, it's a Los Scarabio deck, and the names on it are Lorenzo Tezio and Stefano Palumbo. So these are the, I'm not sure who the artist is, let me uh, check the little white book that it came with, which looks like this. And it is a, again, about a 60, 60 odd page book. Um, graphics by Pietro Eligio. Instructions by Lorenzo Tezio. Hmm. Oh, okay. So it's by, it's, I guess it was created by Lorenzo Tezio and the artwork is by Stefano Palumbo. And here is the, uh, like title card or cover card. And here's the backing. Very elegant backing. So as I said, this is a very, very muted looking deck. I'll show you all of the major arcana. Here's the Fool. They have a very, very kind of serene vibe to them. Very, very contemplative sort of vibe to them. The Magician. And actually, strangely enough, you know what they kind of remind me of? The, the artwork, the characters on here kind of remind me of those like comic booky slash harlequin romance type men in here very very romantic looking figures here's the high priestess i love how those knights are bowing before her and paying homage to her here's the empress very very regal empress here's the emperor and yeah, you don't want to mess with this guy He's being crowned by the uh, clergy there. The Hierophant. Love that, actually. It's a very nice image. Yeah, it's got a sort of comic booky sort of look to it. Here's the Lovers. This really brings to mind the partnership kind of theme behind the lovers with these two guys coming together. Looks like they're trying to hash something out there. Here's the chariot. These guys are really moving forward. Here is Justice. Here's Justice at a number eight. Here is the hermit. Yeah, he's definitely on his own, this guy. In the middle of nowhere. Here's the wheel. And it's kind of like Knights of the Round Table kind of thing, reminds me of. Or they're around that pinnacle there. I guess that would be the Knights Templar. They were supposed to be the Guardians of the Holy Grail, right? I think. Strength. Here's the Hanged Man. Death. Love how he has his armor on there. Here is Temperance. The devil, ooh. That's very cool. The tower. The stars, again, this is plural in this deck. Instead of the star, it's the stars, called the stars. The moon. love that. There's somebody in the window there. The sun. This is judgment. Judgment. 
And last but not least, the world. He has brought the Holy Grail. He has achieved his goal, achieved his quest. So there you go. There is the major arcana from the Terror of the Holy Grail. In just a moment, I'll get with the minor arcana. Okay, so let's get to the minor arcana. Again, the cups in this deck are called chalices. And here's the ace of cups, ace of chalices. Pretty basic thing we're used to seeing. The overflowing cup there. thought it was very beautiful. Here's the four. Four of cups. This guy looks very, very bored. wants to get out there and go on a quest. Uh, here's the six. I thought this was a really sweet six of cups. Six of chalices. Here's the seven. I really love this. I love the angel. <laughs> How it's like just kind of tapping him in his sleep there. And then here's all the court cards. Here's the knave. Again, the page is called the knave in this deck. Here's the knight. The queen. Wow. Love that queen of cups. And here is the king. Okay, and let's move on to the pentacles. Here's the ace. Here's the three. Here's the five. I love how they're all kind of milling around outside the church too. They're lining up to go in and get their their alms or whatever. Here's the six and these guys are distributing everything, right? The six of pentacles. And here's the court cards. Here's the page or knave. Here's the knight. Here's the queen. Wow. And here's the king. Okay, and now the wands. So we have the ace of wands, which is a very majestic, beautiful tree. Here's the two. I like the way this guy is looking so determined. Here's the four. Here is the seven. I really like the way this guy is like struggling. Like the, you can really see him struggling to, you know, get up that rock and the wind's blowing on him and stuff. You can really see him kind of standing his ground there like the seven of wands. Uh, here's the Knave of Wands. The Knight. The Queen. And the King. A very studious looking King of Wands. more of a strategist, I guess, in this depiction here. And then, last but not least, we have the swords. Here's the ace of swords. Here's the five. Here's the seven. <clears throat> I really like the way they are plotting here. It looks like they're plotting and, you know, sort of scheming how to take over this, invade this place or whatever. Uh, here's the nine. This guy looks really beaten down. <laughs> and that was a great nine of swords. This guy's been through the mill. Here is the knave or page. Knight of Swords. The 
Queen of Swords. That's a very cool Queen of Swords. I like her. And last but not least, the King of Swords. You can tell this guy's used to giving orders. So, that is the Minor Arcana of the Tarot of the Holy Grail. So, there you have it. There is the Tarot of the Holy Grail. It is a very, very beautiful, elegant deck. I like it very much. Um, like I said, it's. I don't think this deck would appeal to everyone. It does have a very, very quiet, sedate, serene feel to it. So, it might not be... It's not a very showy deck. So, it might not appeal to a lot of people who, you know, really go for the more sort of bright, vibrant, fantastical decks. Um, but it is very, very elegant and very deep, very deep. So um, I don't think this is a deck I would be reaching for ultra often, but I can see myself using it if I wanted to do a really, really in-depth reading about something for somebody. Somebody is really, really looking into the depths of something. This is definitely a deck that I would reach for. Um, it definitely has that really nice, you know, uh, contemplative questing vibe to it. So yeah, I really like it. I think it's beautiful. Hope you guys enjoyed this and stay tuned because there is much, much more to come. See you soon.